Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. I got a cool little food slash ancient agriculture uh, tip for you guys here for planting seeds. Uh, I spoke about this in my other channel if you watched that video a few days ago how we have some indications of being uh, parts of a planting and fertility ritual that ancient humans used to do that was instead of farmers planting those seeds or just regular peasants or something like that that it would be toddlers or perhaps even a newborn children or a pregnant woman even who would plant these seeds the idea is that because the child just recently not too long ago was a seed that sprouted into life itself uh, that the idea is planting that seed in the soil will also help it to become fertile and sprout life just as that newborn uh, toddler uh, had done that's a perfect example of sympathetic magic that we find rituals like this all over the world all this this specific one that i'm talking about is not confirmed it's just a theory that we have however we have a similar ritual that the ancient Egyptians would do. A pregnant woman would basically go out and urinate all over the grains that were just planted. And this was believed to bring them to life. And if the newborn child was going to be a boy, the plant would sprout as barley. And if it was gonna be a girl, the wheat would sprout. They call them piss prophets. <laughs> <laughs> and this was regarded as humanity's first pregnancy test, at least that we have records of. So it turns out this actually isn't a whole bunch of crap. 70 to 80% of the time it actually works and it's due to a hormone in the urine that helps the growth of the new seed. Is it science? Is it magic? Is it something spiritual? Who knows? It just goes to show that ancient humans probably had a lot more knowledge uh, about these kinds of things than we think. Yeah, of course, they don't have lab coats and scientific studies and, and technology and the microscopes that we do today, but I'll tell you what they did have. They had much more abundance than we have today. They had the time and the connection and close uh, living with nature to experiment over these things over thousands of years and like always I think a lot of these crazy things that humans did before modern science will continue to be proven right a lot of the time so that's just a tip for you if you have any toddlers or you know women to piss all over your plants <laughs> maybe give that a try